If you have a brand new bike speedometer and you're trying to configure it for your bike, you'll probably get a chart that tells you the circumference of the wheels, but don't believe it. This is the best way to set it yourself. So you put a mark on the tire and a mark on the ground, and then you probably don't want to be doing this while you're holding a phone in your hand trying to film it, but you roll that baby forward. And then when you get to the end, you put another mark on the ground in the same spot as the mark on your tire with a measuring tape next to it. And then you determine exactly how far that piece of tape on your tire has traveled. So we measured 2,120 millimeters. And if you compare that to what the chart says for a bigger tire, it says a bigger tire goes less distance. So it's always important to not believe what they give you in the paperwork and to measure it yourself. And in our case, the tires we're using are pretty beefy, almost like motorcycle tires. So that's part of the difference. It, you know, if you've got a tire that's got a lot of tread on it, it's going to measure differently than a tire that is skinny and made for racing.